Hey everybody, it's Wendy. Welcome. I'm so excited you're here with me today. We are going to be making some candy wrappers for candy bars. Um, here are the supplies. This is what you'll need. This little ladybug stamp set is free with a $300 order. <laughs> so if you want it and you're like, yeah, I'm not putting in a $300 order, hit me up and maybe we can put together some sort of little party for you online so that some of your friends can place orders and then you can get this stamp set for free. Um, we've got the Real Red 3 eighths, 3 eighths of an inch ribbon, um, basic black cardstock. We're using the Golden Honey Designer Series paper, which is also free with a $50 order. So that's a little more um, affordable. Here are the measurements. So we've got basic black cardstock and it is cut at five and three eighths by six and three quarters. And then it is scored on the short side at two and a half by two and seven eighths. Then you're gonna turn it and score it at three eighths and six and three eighths. This is the same for every single wrapper, or yeah, candy wrapper. That's what I'm calling them. It's a candy box, cause it's really like different. Each one is different. So um, I made three of these, three bases, and then the pieces that will go um, on it is different. So I really wanted to do this because I wanted to show how you can take one card or one 3D item and make it look very different, but you know, by how you style it. And I'm actually using all the same products for each one, which is kind of interesting too. Um, so kind of kept with the same color scheme, product usage, so that I wasn't using a ton of different products, and created three very different looking candy wrappers. So I thought it was kind of a fun challenge. I'm using tear and tape adhesive, which I neglected to put on my supply list. So when I make these supply lists, sometimes I leave off adhesives because I figure everybody's got their adhesives. I shouldn't do that. I should really make sure I add adhesive to everything. Um, but I love this tear and tape adhesive. Anytime you're making a box or something that is going to be like a fun fold or something like that, it's really good to use uh, tear and tape. It's a really, really strong adhesive. I had the hardest time getting that little piece cut. It was like it didn't want to cut through. You might notice on my right hand, I have a beautiful new ring. That ring is from my daughter and husband for Christmas. So I've worn it in a few videos, but I thought I would comment on it today. I love it. I wear it every day. Um, I love rings. Rings are my very favorite jewelry. And so pretty much all the time I'm changing out different rings on my right hand. All right, so a Hershey bar fits in here perfectly. And so I just made a bunch of Hershey bar wrappers. Um, we're going to start with the first one. It's a bag. Here are the measurements for the designer series paper pieces and the different punches and stuff like that that I used. Um, now, if you don't want to pause the video and write down measurements and stuff like that, it's okay. There is a link below the video that says blog with instructions. You want to click on that link and you will be taken to a document that or my blog post and in that blog post will be a document with all the measurements for all of these. Recently I had somebody catch that maybe I had made a mistake on one of my PDFs um, in my measurements and in showing me um, that she had used the pictures from my um, PDF or my blog post and created her own PDF. So if you are watching, please don't get upset. I'm not going to use any names, but I do want to share this. My, um, as an ethical thing, you should not ever use somebody else's photography in a document for yourself or on your blog, unless you have contacted the person and said, I would like to use your images, may I do so? And then you have to give that person the opportunity to allow you to do so. 
In this case, she had cut off my copyright information at the bottom of the photo. So my name and the Stampin' Up! copyright info was not on there. And so it comes across as though she took those photos when she did not. This is like a huge ethical thing online. Um, and a lot of people just don't know about it. And I believe that. I believe that this lady was very sweet and just did not know, doesn't know that this is an ethical issue. Um, but it is. So FYI, for you out there that, you know, use my PDFs or any other demonstrator's PDFs, if it's okay to recreate the project and take photos of it yourself and create your own document, you should first and foremost always give credit to the creator, the original creator. For example, I've created stuff that is Sam's Poodles stuff in the past. And when I do, I always give her credit and tell people that this is where I saw it from. So it's just a courtesy thing and it's the right way to do things. And if you don't do it that way, especially after you've been told, then you're kind of skeezy. Like it's not a good, it's not a good thing to do. It's caught, it's copyright infringement. It's plagiarism. Um, it's stealing. It is all those things. Um, when I come up with something like these candy bar things I've, I've done, that does it's not to say that there's nobody else in the world that's ever made these, but I didn't go out onto the internet, find somebody's stuff and then copy it. I sat in my office for hours creating this video, creating the blog post, creating the PDF tutorial. And so for somebody to basically steal that, it's um, very um, hurtful. And, um, you know, if you do it to the wrong person, you can be in big trouble. So just a little FYI, um, for those of you out there who might not know, and I believe that is the case for most people. They just don't know any better. And so now, now you've been told. So you know now, oops, I'm not supposed to do that. Okay, this is a part I was going to cut out. Look at what I did. I punched this um, Whisper White piece at two and a quarter inches, and that is how big my Poppy Parade piece is. So what I did is I left this part in so that you could see the mistake and how I fixed it. I peeled off those dimensionals off the back of here very carefully so that they wouldn't tear my paper up too much. And then you use a post-it note and stick it to the circle and then stick it inside of a two inch circle punch and punch it again. So that's really the only way you can do it with something like this because otherwise you would not be able to get that circle inside of there. So the post-it note is your friend and you're left with this little frame piece. So, um, so there's that. So I wasn't even going to share that today, but I just kind of, when I, when I brought up that there's a PDF for this, I thought, well, maybe I should share that. <laughs> um, take it for what it's worth. I don't need any nasty comments over it pleas or emails. It's the truth. Um, if you go out and Google intellectual property information, or if you Google anything like that, or if you talk to any other online demonstrators, you're probably going to get the same answer. Um, some people take it very, very bad and very offensively. Um, me personally, I chalk it up to most people just don't know any better. So, um, you know, education, uh, knowledge is power. So when you have information, you know to do better. Um, my images are my copyright. They belong to me. And so um, I appreciate you not using them unless you get my permission to do so. Okay, so moving along. I preheat emboss the sentiment on this because we have two other projects to get to. So I didn't want to take up the time using the Versamark ink and heat tool and all of that doing my heat embossing. So I did it beforehand and added this little happy birthday sentiment to the front of this bag. I know this video and blog post say Valentine's, but you know, I threw a happy birthday one in there because I wanted to use a different sentiment. And then voila, your candy bar goes inside and you're done. How cute is that? Such a cute gift. And you could stick a gift card on top of that Hershey bar and you would be giving somebody the best gift they've ever gotten, I'm just saying. <laughs> 
Okay, so here is my belly band version. Same box, and all the measurements are over on the side, two and a half inch by six and three eighths inch. Score at one, one and three eighths. I gotta look at my paper, three and seven eighths and four and a quarter. And you might notice all the metric measurements are available as well. So you can, um, hopefully, if you are in the UK or basically I always say anywhere else in the world, you can make this also using my metric measurements. If you do make it and the metric measurements are not correct, I apologize. I did not grow up doing metric and um, using metric, so I'm not super awesome at it, but you can give it a whirl. Use scratch paper, will you? <laughs> Don't use your good designer series paper um, before you are, when you're trying out my metric measurements. Start with scratch paper, because just in case. Um, all right, so I'm wrapping this belly band around the box and adhering it. And then all I have to do is a little bit of decorating. I've got a piece of Poppy Parade cardstock. It's cut at one and a half by four. I love the triple banner punch because it gives me a perfect um, banner punch <laughs> at, the, at the end, a banner piece at the end every single time. You always have to cut the paper a little longer than you actually want it because it does cut away a good little chunk of paper. So just remember that when you are, um, you know, cutting the paper and you can cut it at one inch, one and a half or two inches and it will fit into that punch. It has three different sizes. So I've got a two and a quarter inch black circle punch. And then, of course, the Whisper White 2-inch punch. Now, I've already colored this little ladybug because, frankly, all the ladybugs are colored the same. Poppy Parade, Smoky Slate, and a little bit of Flirty Flamingo on their cheeks, and we're calling it good. On this one, I decided to use a 1-inch circle punch and the uh, You're So Sweet sentiment and Poppy Parade ink and I'm stamping it and I'm going to add this to the candy bar because I didn't really want to put a sentiment on the front so I decided to go ahead and add this little sentiment to the candy bar so when they opened their um <clears throat> excuse me when they opened their box up they would have this sweet little sentiment on the inside um and my this is a box that I kind of messed up on one end so I have to take off <laughs> On the other end. Um, okay, other things. When Crayon Chronicles, what else has been going on? Um, somehow, I'm gonna, I feel like I need to knock on wood when I say this. Somehow, my family has avoided the ick. We have not been sick yet. I feel like I'm jinxing myself right now. Um, but we've been healthy, but everybody around us, sick. Okay, this is my third one. So you've got the topper here. This is the lid for the box. Poppy Parade, two and five eighths by six, scored on the short end at half inch and seven eighths of an inch. So um, I've been really happy about that. I'm happy that everybody's been able to go back to work and school today. Um, January 6th is when I'm filming this. So, um, or I should say voiceovering this. So, um, I've been really happy everybody's been able to go back to school and work. And, um, my construction on my studio has begun. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I can't wait to be able to like do a video and show you guys everything. It's going to be epic, but it'll be a while. So don't get too excited. Um, I'm using tear and tape here just on this little back half inch flap um, and that's the flap that's going to attach to the back of the box. I use the detailed trio punch to punch the front um, flap piece that will fold down. Kind of gives it a nice little cornered, soft cornered edge. Um, and so uh, yeah, two layers of this tape because I want to make sure it covers every area. I don't want this falling off the back. That would be embarrassing. Um, what else is going on? I really don't know. There's not a lot else going on. Everybody's gone back to work, school. Um, husband is on call this week. So that's going to serve to be, that's going to prove to be an uh, interesting week. Um, I have 
celebration going, you know that. You get free products with every $50 you order. Um, I also have a fun little giveaway on my um, website through January 20th. If you place an order of $50 or more with me, you get free champagne rhinestones. So I've got that going on. Um, I've ordered all my paper share paper. It's on its way. I think I've already shared that with you. And so um, if you've never done one of my paper shares, you should try one next time. The next one's going to be a little bit pricey because it will be a ton of paper. It's the big annual catalog. So last year there were 19 packs of paper 19 card kits. It was insane, but it was awesome. And so we're looking forward to that coming up. Um, but we got to get past this one first. Huh, it's always a little stressful. Um, all right. So just putting on the finishing touches here of this card or of this uh, box and already have my little ladybug colored and then for this one, um, to close it, I add a stamp and dimensional, but you could totally use those little Velcro pieces so that you could continue to open and close it, um, or a magnet or something like that. I just didn't have one handy, so I didn't do it. And I prepped this to put a candy bar in later, but here is the one that's finished I wanted to show you. Um, I just kind of pulled up that dimensional there, and it will re-stick. But there's my candy bar inside with the You're So Sweet on it. So if you want this free PDF printable tutorial, you can get it over on my blog. Again, the link is below. All the supplies are below. The way you thank me for all these videos is placing an order with me. I really appreciate it when somebody places an order with me. It's a huge thank you. Um, okay, if you want to see other videos from me, click either one that you see here. Click this circle with my face in it to subscribe. Um, shop with me at shoploveandstampin.com. And I hope that you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.